welcome to another video! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I'm going to be filming my October TBR. Um, I've picked out quite a few books. I've got some new releases as well, so I'm just going to crack on with it. The first book I'm reading is Heroes of Olympus, The House of Hades, which is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Ryden. Not going to talk too much about this because it will spoil the series, but Penguin are kindly sending me the paperback version to go with all of my books. And also, a very special book, possibly they are sending me the fifth book to show you in a couple of days' time, so keep an eye out for that. I'm then going to be reading Breakdown by Sarah Musi, 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 and this is a kind of survival book based in 2084, and it's by, published by Hotkey, which you know I love. Number one, can we just talk about the cover? The cover is so good, and on the back it says survival, infatuation, fables, and thriller, so you all know this is a book I'm going to like, and I know it's Halloween, I should be reading lots of thingy, thingy books, but... I mean, survival stories is kind of like a Halloween, and this is one of two of the survival stories I'm going to be reading. So, yeah, I can't wait to read this one. It just looks incredible, and it sounds absolutely I incredible. Like, you know, in a society where they've got a lack of power, food, government, and humanity, and Melissa, the main character, and her nan survive by the skin of their teeth, and one day uh, there's a kidnapping involved, and the lives get thrown upside down. You know the story. So, yeah, I'm really excited and looking forward to reading this one. I'm also going to be reading Fight in the Woods by Jennifer M. Eaton, and this book is also another kind of survival post-apocalyptic Armageddon book. The cover, number one, the cover is absolutely incredible. I love this cover so much, but it's where a plane crashes in the woods near Jess's home. The boy of her dreams falls out of the sky, literally. But David's not here to find a girlfriend. He's from another planet, and if Jess can't help him get back to his ship, he'll be stuck on Earth with nothing to look forward to but the point, point, pointy end of a dissection scalpel. Yes, this book involves aliens and romance and p Armageddon and and the world stuff, it just sounds incredible, and the cover's amazing. And you can get this book uh, on your Kindle at the moment, actually. It's not available for uh, paperback just yet, but it is available for Kindle. So go and grab your copy, and let's read it together, because, I mean, this book, you need to own this book just for the cover. And the story, of course, is amazing, but it's kind of going to be just... I know, it's going to be great. I can't wait. I'm going to then read The Bind Up Bell Fire, uh, Chalice of Wind, Circle of Ashes, A Feather of Stone and A Necklace of Water. This is The Bind Up from Kate Tiernan's. It's a witch, no witch novel based in like New Orleans, I believe. Yeah, New Orleans, kind of about the French Quarter. The reason why I'm reading this is because I'm currently watching the originals and it's obviously based in New Orleans in the French Quarter and I'm absolutely freaking obsessed with that series and I'm ready to read some more witches based with a French kind of background with just epic magic and we all know Kate Tin and can write fantastic books about witches and this kind of fits in with a with the the theme of Halloween it is a big one but I will fly through this one I possibly might read a couple of them on my um, my Kindle and then a couple in the book depending on where I am and what I'm doing because I've got a busy month this month so yes very excited about this one and the cover I like the cover for this one except this whole shiny like thing I would love it if it was matte like the sweep series but it's not it's shiny so it's shiny I'm going to read In the Sea by Rick Yancey, and this is the second book to The Fifth Wave. I'm really excited about this book. I'm very confused why it's so small, considering The Fifth Wave was quite a chunky book. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to give it a go. I think I might have to go on to Recaptions, which is this great website where you can, like, recap yourself on books without having to reread them, because I have no time to read The Fifth Wave again. I only read it re recently, so I just need a little bit of a refresher. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. The cover's grey, and, yeah, I'm sure the story is going to be fantastic. I, to be honest, I haven't, I don't know what's happening. I don't, I have no idea what's going to happen in this book at all. No inkling, no idea, so I'm just going to go into it not knowing. Oh, it's another alien book, so there you go. Unrest by Michelle Harrison. This is a book based around ghosts and creepy things, and I thought that this would be perfect for, of course... What are you doing? It'll be perfect for Halloween because it's all about ghosts and things like that. So that's really all cool and exciting. I work with somebody called Michelle Harrison, actually. So that's a funny coincidence. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I was sent this by the book people. So thank you, the book people. I'm just going to give this a go. It's all about ghosts and out-of-body experiences. And the cover is so nice. When the dead don't sleep, the living are afraid to unrest.
And then I'm going to read The Balance Keepers, Fires of Culture by Lindsay Cummings. This is her first book in a mid-grade series. It sounds absolutely great. It's like a fancy, exciting book. I am extremely looking forward to this book. Extremely. It is published now. You can go and get your physical copy or your Kindle copy. But look at this, ready? The under dust jacket is amazing. This is an epic fantasy for middle grade. I love middle grade books, I have to say. And there's dragons involved, and from what I can see, big bees, and a group, uh, two boys and a girl. So I really don't know too much about this one. I'm just gonna go into it with like a completely fresh mindset. And what is lovely is there's some awesome authors on the back who recommended it, like Patrick Carmen, um, who I love, Ronald Smith, who also love and Peter Lerangis, Lerangis, just awesome, I'm just so excited for this book, so go grab this book because it's a new release and you all need new releases because they're very important to us in this day and age. And I'm also going to be reading The Emissary which is also a new release and it's about just epic fantasy and awesome, awesome things and the cover as well. I really love the cover for this book. It just looks great and if you want to know more about this book I will leave the Goodreads page down below. As well with all the other books that I've mentioned in this video, all the Goodreads links will down be, be down below. Definitely go check them out. I'd love to be reading The Fire in the Woods and The Emissary with some people this month because I have them on my Kindle. So if you're going to let me know and that's really exciting and we can just get on with it together and just read it and just have reading things. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you're going to be reading in October. I'm sorry it's not really Halloween based but I'm trying not to uh, limit myself to books that I want to read. I just want to read whatever I want to read especially like the amount of new releases coming out this month. So I'm really excited and I will speak to you all next time. Goodbye.